Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel where everything is two stroke or is it? <laughs> we like dealing with two stroke cars and fun things. And if you notice, behind me here, there's a little Honda Civic and there was another strange car that a lot of you noticed that was filling and occupying that spot right next to that Honda. Do you remember what it was? Quiz for the day. <laughs> That car is now with me. Uh, I made a deal with the owner and it's now in the shop right there. So let's go take a look at it and see what kind of investment I have made because I can tell you, I have not made the best investments in cars lately. Stella? Stella, are you aloof? What are you doing, Stella? Camera shy? Come on, girl. Give me a little something. Stella the shop dog sometimes appears aloof, but she's really a complex being. She's, look, oh, oh, we've got movement. There's some stalking going on. There's a pesky squirrel up in that tree right there that's been eating our nuts, our hazelnuts. And she's just sure she's gonna get that squirrel. I'm not so sure. Let's take a look at what we got. So, I think I told you guys there was a little car there, unique convertible. You had to enter a lottery to purchase in Japan. It was made in the Pike, Pike factory. Very uncommon car here in the United States. Found out a lot about this car today. I don't know if it's all good. <laughs> I think I might have just bought somebody's problem, but so it is, I guess I'm the guy to deal with it. Um, I seem to have the patience. Cute little car, let me introduce it. It's a 1991 Nissan Figaro, 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 not sure how you pronounce that. It is a convertible, it is a right-hand drive. It's not really a K car, it's a bigger engine than that. This one has an issue, it has low oil pressure. Oh boy. Low oil pressure on this transverse mounted four cylinder 998 cc engine. I'll give you the specs right there. It's turbocharged, so it has a rating of 76, basically 76, 78 horsepower, probably at 5,000 RPM. Non intercooled turbo, automatic transmission. Kind of a neat little car. Very, very cool styling. It is now part of the the fleet here at the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. I just put a battery in it. It's been sitting for a long time. The oil pressure gauge that I had somehow rotted away, fell off, could be under the car, and lift it up. I don't know what happened to it. It was sitting there, was sitting there right here under the wiper blade so I could watch the oil pressure while I diagnosed it for the customer and it's just gone. So, Stella, did you take my oil pressure gauge? No. Let's get back to the car. So 12 inch tires, hubcaps, leather interior, an interior fit for a king, or maybe not. It has a green dash pad, which is kind of funny. One little crack, some big gauges. The seats are a little worn, they're leather. They've been painted with house paint. Not the greatest. The back seat is the most uncomfortable thing. I mean, look at that. Who's actually, there's seat belts there. They expect you to sit there, but the back of the seat is like, not even not even like vertical. It's leaning towards, it's gotta be the most uncomfortable thing ever, but it has seat belts back there. So uh, I don't know how the top comes down. I don't know much about this car other than it's now mine and it's my problem to deal with. So I gotta figure it out. But first things first, I'm gonna put an oil pressure gauge on here, start it up and see what I can do Maybe I can manipulate the, the spring in the oil pump. I don't know. Maybe it's got a bleeding bearing. I don't know. What am I gonna do? Well, let's take a look at some stuff here. I think I figured out how to get the top down. That's always the most important thing. So you press this guy. Yep. Electronic solenoid, which releases this hatch here. These gas struts don't really hold. Uh, so I believe the top manually folds and fits down in this well. I gotta clean that out. There's some sticky stuff there. 
before I do that and it makes it convertible. And then your spare tire is in this trunk here. So this is the storage that you have if you're not using the top. Cute, cute, cute little car. Let's dig into this thing a little bit, see what we can do. See if we can make something of this. I know my little girls, both my girls will want to drive this thing. It looks really good. Okay, so before we get this thing up on the lift, I got to show you a few things. I actually enjoy non-perfect cars. Let me repeat that. I actually enjoy non-perfect cars. The reason being, you can have more cars, basically. That's the reason. Crack dash, a little scuff here, a dent in the door, low oil pressure. If you have a super nice car, I can't loan this out to my kid to drive or feel bad about getting a scratch or a ding. I mean, stuff happens. So I feel like I can have more cars because they don't cost as much if it's a non-perfect car. So that's, that's where we're headed here. <laughs> I just want to make this thing run and drive and enjoy it and not have it blow up. That'd be kind of cool. So uh, well, let's lift this thing up. I'm going to see if I can find that oil pressure gauge. If not, well, then I'll put on a new one here and we'll check our oil pressure and see if we can fire this thing up. As I was lifting the car up, I remembered exactly what I wanted to say, which I forgot, apparently. These cars only came in four colors this season's spring, fall, winter, and summer. What color do you think this car is? Looks kind of beige, taupe. I don't know what the what the real, real color code is, but let me let you in on something here. I'm going to pull back the ID card. Finger. You see what's behind there? Green. This car is not supposed to be gray or beige. It's supposed to be green. I didn't know that. Supposedly, this is the rarest color. Now, why would somebody paint the car? I don't know. Back to having imperfect cars. So, this used to be a topaz green car, and it's painted the beige. The winter or the fall color. You can see there's a bit of the green coming through there I think the most part you could tell it looks pretty good I mean they did the engine compartment they did the insides they did the jams they did everything I, I was shocked the owner told me or I should say the seller told me that it used to be green there's a little fun fact for you okay let's take a look underneath the undercarriage here of our Nissan Figaro I think I got my light on so we can check this out together what did I get myself into I don't know looks like the muffler's been painted over rusted out maybe got a couple little rust holes in it dual exhaust tips that's kind of cool uh it's just a straight axle in the back like i mean it's straight axle new shocks appears new 12 inch tires the hoses and look good i don't see any rust underneath here that's nice oh what are we looking at new exhaust here is there a Kelly converter on this thing? I don't know. Somebody's put a new exhaust pipe on here. It's our shifter. Very simple little car. Must have a Kelly converter. Oh yeah, it's got one up in there. New pipe. I gotta get in here and see what's going on with the oiling system. Can't find the gauge. So it's got new front shocks as well. That's kind of cool. I don't know about brakes. It's pretty dusty. It's been sitting around for a while. What should we do with this thing? Fix it up, drive it, modify it. I don't know what should we do. There's my oil pressure line here. Let's see what I can do about making this thing have more oil pressure. Hmm. Okay. Pretty cool little car. This little tie down straps. Those Japanese man. Look at that. That's how they tie their car down with a little little nylon strap, one on each side. Tie down strap is tied down with a little clip. Pretty cool. So I think if I just tighten this up here, we'll have a working oil pressure gauge. Looks pretty good. Should work. Let's check the oil. I'm sure, this has been checked a hundred times, but golly. Yeah, we got oil in there. Lots of it. ourselves on all there. It looks like the timing belt's been replaced. That's always good. And then I think I saw a sticker on the door frame. 
timing belt was replaced as well. Can't read Japanese. I think that was inspected at 87,000 kilometers. What do we got? 105? Well, let's try to start this thing. Do not start. Low pressure. Let's see if oil starts shooting out all over the place. Okay, we got some lights. Let's just see what happens here. We got no oil. Oh. We got oil dripping out of our gate. We did a really good job of oiling up the wiper blades. Well, we just wanted, made it a little tighter on the fitting. I really don't like these little plastic tubes. Let's try it again. Okay, we got. 20 pounds of oil pressure. That's terrible. Okay, we got a couple of warning lights on. Not sure what that's about. Door open maybe. And we got no oil pressure. 20 pounds. Okay. So now what do I do? What do I do? Stella, help me ponder this. What do I do with this car? Come on, girl. Give me a sign. Huh? What should I do? What should I do? You know? Let's think about it.